So why would someone add iron to a reef aquarium? That's a question I've had put to me. So there's basically three main reasons why someone might want iron in their aquarium. First of all, the iron is believed to help with the greening of your corals. So if you want more green to come out in your corals, you might decide to elevate your iron level. Iron will also help to recip to, um, to um, precipitate phosphates out. So that may be another motivation for increasing iron. And then the main motivation for increasing iron, besides the fact that low levels are still very beneficial for your corals, is for the growth of any macro algae. If you want macro algae in your tank, it is worth elevating your iron levels. If you have a refrigium that you want macro algae in, then you may want to elevate your iron levels, or definitely if you have an algae reactor light, then you would definitely want iron in your water to um, elevate your levels. And once again, it's really worth testing it because if you're not getting the good macro algae growth that you want, then testing your iron, putting it on a dosing pump, and increasing the level of iron that's going into the water may be well worth it. If you're doing that and your macroalgae still isn't growing the way you want it to, it could be that your nutrient export is otherwise too effective and your nitrate and phosphate may be too low to grow it. Um, otherwise, it, there could be something else involved. If you ever want to decipher something that you don't know that you don't know, then it's really worth doing a Trident test. So what you do to do a Trident test is you grab one of these things. So this is an ICP test. Um, then you can send that away to Trident and then it gives you a lavatory. Um, it breaks it all up and gives you um, a, a very, very comprehensive understanding of what's going on in your tank. And then you can bring those results into us. You can also speak to the guys at Triton and um, you can find out if any of your levels are ridiculously high or ridiculously low and what suggestions they've got or we've got in reference to remedying them. Anyway, if you have any other tips for why someone would want to add iron in their tank or what levels do you aim at, then put a little note at the bottom of this video.